Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Ripper and Strike here. This is our 2021 Subaru STI Sport. So mid-level trim, one up from the base STI, one under the full load sport tech. In the beautiful World Rally Blue, you get those greeny yellow Brembo brakes on all the STIs. I like how they look with the World Rally Blue. You do have keyless access to the trunk, but because it's running, I can't do it from the key fob, so I just pre-opened it. Absolutely massive trunk tons of room i know several hockey goalies that throw all their gear back here and still have a little bit of room so practical yet fun the sport only comes with the wing the spoiler however you want to call it we have these little flaps on the roof that's where you would put in the tie down or screw down bolt down roof racks sports the first trim level with the tilt and slide sunroof i guess it would help if i actually opened it In the second row, if you are carrying passengers, there is room to fit up to three people comfortably across. Taller people can fit. There's a bunch of headroom. Not as much as some vehicles in our lineup, but you can still fit comfortably. It's all that ultra suede slash leather combo seating. Now, you do get the proximity key, so you never need to take this out of your purse, your pocket, your backpack. You walk up, put your hand in the handle, and it locks. Press and hold on those lines after the door is closed to lock it. Won't do it right now because it's running, of course. Power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. The Sport is the first trim level you get with the power driver seat, including lumbar. It's just that ultra suede slash leather bolstering combo, the red and black. I really like it. It's sharp. Even the seat belts are red to match. Keeps the theme going. Now on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we've got our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. These arrows right here give you a little bit of different information depending upon what you want it to show you. I personally like the digital speedo. Right hand side has our cruise control. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but we do have blind spot detection. It illuminates orange on that mirror and on that side. I don't know if we'll see if we can see it on that side as well. Little bit of orange. It lets you know someone's in your blind spot or going to be. Hard to see on the camera, but it does do it. Now, you'll notice we have C diff in the middle there. And it's set to auto right now. And we've got different drive modes that you can cycle through. You've got intelligent for everyday driving, sport for more spirited, and full race car mode, which is sport sharp. And then driver controlled center differential. That's this right here. So you can kind of control the bias for how the center differential locks. So right now, auto is kind of do its, gonna do its own thing. You can put it in auto and put it forward just by tilting forward on it. And the bias will be more to lock, 50-50. You can put the bias more to the rear, better for cornering, or if you press on the C diff auto manual, you can see that you can go all the way to full lock. So you can lock the all wheel drive 50-50. Great for the winter or rallying, um, using moving these around the lot in the winter on these performance summer rated tires. I have to lock it. Just makes it easier to crawl around. With the front and rear limited slip differentials, it is quite nice in the winter for that as well. Now, the drive modes are this dial. You push down and you get intelligent. You twist to the left and you can see the torque curve increases there. Twist to the right to sport sharp and you can see the torque curve is the most aggressive. So that's full on race car mode. And you push down on it to get to the driver controlled center different, or the drive mode intelligent for everyday driving, which is still very, very peppy. Tilt sled sunroof, controls are right here. I am gonna close it just cause the sun is creating a little bit of glare for me. Now, in this little display here, leather wrap display, I quite like it. Used, used to be plastic, it's much nicer now. Um, dual zone climate control. So it ranges from 18 on the low side all the way up to 32. So from freezing to tropical, easy to swap it back to just driver controlled. We can also toggle through that with this enter button by going up or down and gives you a bunch of different information. Fuel economy, what angle you're sitting at, track mode, the all important boost gauge, and you can go and change your settings. I personally like the boost gauge myself. AM, FM, CD, satellite radio, it is touchscreen or we have the physical buttons here however you would like it. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto are standard. As soon as you go into reverse, backup camera pops up, shows you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to. 
Climb controls are controlled from here. Driver's side, fan strength, passenger side. When it's dual like that, two separate temperatures, easy to switch it back. Mode changes where the airflow is coming from. Being an STI, of course, six speed manual, awesome to drive. You can get a short shift kit for it, but it is a fairly short shift in the grand scheme of things anyways. We've already gone over the driver controlled center differential and drive modes. We have heated seats, high and low for both the driver and passenger. And I mean, just take a look throughout the interior, that red soft touch material, the red and black kind of continues throughout, even onto the STI floor mats, the stitching up top there, even the steering wheel, black leather with the red stitching, really, really sharp, fun cars to drive. So that's a brief overview of the 2021 Subaru STI Sport. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist. Talk to you guys soon.